Amber Hurdle of Amber Hurdle Consulting. And in this video, I am going to entice you into taking my personal brand challenge so you can clearly articulate your personal brand. What does that even mean, Amber? Do you want to know more? Please keep watching. So what is your personal brand exactly? I feel like we've covered this. I have another video I'll plop into the uh, description, but I want to get a little more technical in this video. So your personal brand is a snapshot of who you authentically are as an, in, an individual and what you uniquely offer to this world. It helps people quickly identify, um, identify just with you in general. Um, it enables you to attract the right people and opportunities to your life. And that's probably my favorite definition is it attracts the right people and opportunities to your life. And it provides an immediate perception that puts you top of mind for specific opportunities. So if you want to be known for something, you want to be the solution for something, then that's what this is kind of all about. Um, you know, these other opportunities people might come across. Um, and by knowing your brand so well, because you exude it, it's going to increase the likelihood of those bring of, of them bringing those opportunities to you, as opposed to anyone else or saying like, oh, I don't know anybody. Um, so this is totally relevant. If you're a leader in an organization, um, if you're a small business owner, if you're a service provider, if you're a direct sales professional, um, really anything, like if you're a volunteer, um, if you're a soccer mom, if you breathe, you have a personal brand and it's relevant. It's relevant to everyone. So um, now that we know what it is, let's talk about what it's not, um, because I think there's a lot of misconception around this, especially in the like online marketing world, like just shoot me. Um, your personal brand is not a promotion of an idea of who you are um, or even who you want to become. Okay. It's not exuding who you want others to think you are. And it is certainly not a personal public relations campaign. And as someone with a PR degree and a long history, I can tell you that as a fact. Okay. So don't let these little whippersnappers tell you otherwise, because they are living in their parents' basement and they don't know squat. I do listen to this girl. Okay. You are not creating a character or an image when you're working on your personal brand. Okay. You feel me? Check it. All right. So building a personal brand should be about connecting with other people in the most authentic way possible. Um, so if that sounds like something you want to do, then I invite you into my challenge. Um, so if you're in, perfect. Let's talk about how we're going to get there. Now, I'm going to have you do a little something, something, just a few activities um, so you can gain both clarity on how you see yourself um, as well as better understand uh, how the world sees you. And that second part is as important as the first part, because if people aren't seeing you the way that you see yourself, then there's a disconnect, right? And we've got to fix that. So the end result will be creating a personal brand statement. Yes, there is homework involved. There are activities to do. You have to do the work. You know how I feel about that. Um, and, and we're going to identify the gaps between um, who you are and how you are perceived. Um, if there are no gaps, and sometimes there are not gaps, but most often there are. So if you're special and there are no gaps, cool. You can focus on what you're already doing. Um, you can focus on the parts of your brand that maybe you can amplify and increase your visibility and the level of attraction um, for creating, again, those uh, attracting the right people and opportunities to your life. So you'll get to next level once you get clear on who you are and how you're going to present that to the world. So no matter what, you will end this challenge feeling confident in who you are um, after uncovering the greatest impact you can have in your world. And when I say your world, I'm not saying the world. If you impact your small little area, you're doing your part in this world, okay? So we all don't have to be Beyonce in order to have an impact. Then you can move boldly forward in your business, your career, and your personal life, and frankly, your spirit. And we've talked about that in uh, another video. And again, I'll just drop that link in the description if you want to go back and watch that. Um, and I do want to issue a warning. Um, I feel like all things with me come with a warning label, um, danger, danger. 
the level of introspection you will experience can feel absolutely fascinating, or it can be incredibly awkward depending on your personality type um, and your life experiences and just kind of how you've moved through the, through the world. So um, I, I do want to honor that. And then also say it will also be one of the most important exercises that you can complete to enjoy a successful career and a successful life. Um, connecting with this is critical. Everybody wants to know who am I, what am I about and how do I fit in? Um, because when you're certain in who you are and what you bring to the table, you can better select business opportunities, job opportunities, um, relationship opportunities, and really more than that. I mean, this is just such a core part of who you are. And, and the best part is that when you understand your personal brand, you can start to better understand other people as well. And even more importantly, you can start understanding your calling. And if that doesn't matter to you, you just want to crush it in business, that's cool. But you can take it to that level if you want. So um, what is it that you're supposed to accomplish in this lifetime? If that's of interest to you, I believe your personal brand leads you to that identity. Um, so how do we figure out what your personal brand is? That is the question of the hour. Um, I'm not going to reveal all of it right now, but I will walk you through uh, the high level of the process. So you'll have three different exercises in this free challenge. Also, it's free, no charge. Um, first, you will complete a personal brand self-assessment. Um, I designed this exercise to help uh, you see patterns and uh, memories and observations and to connect with feelings within you to help you realize how you see yourself. Okay. That's step one. So this would be a good time to turn on some chill music or maybe some slow jams, maybe some uh, trip hop. I don't know, whatever your thing is, maybe pour a glass of bourbon or a glass of wine or whatever your favorite beverage is, download this whole worksheet and give this exercise the attention that it and you both deserve, okay? So that's step one. It's all about inside, it's just you and your worksheet. Second, you're gonna reach out to 10 people, 10 people from various areas of your life who know you well. They have to know you well. So this might be like your spouse. It might be your um, immediate supervisor or manager. It could be your current or previous um, employee. It could be your best friend. It could be a sibling or a parent, um, a fellow longtime volunteer or whomever may have a solid opinion of your unique strengths, okay? It's important though that you pull from all areas of your life. I don't want you to do just personal or just work or just your current job um, because I want you to have a holistic view from the data that you collect. And you know, this girl loves her some people data. Okay. So this is, this is an organic um, homegrown way of collecting data on yourself. So it's fantastic and free. Um, once you identify these 10 ish people, you could have 12, you have 15, you could have eight. Um, you're then going to ask them to complete the peer assessment survey that I provide for you. So this is all part of um, the download that you get for free. Um, and I know this might feel a little awkward um, to ask for feedback from people, um, depending, especially if you're introverted or whatever, but I want you to embrace the awkward and just freaking do it anyways, okay? The world is weird right now at the recording of this. We're all under quarantine, okay? So let's just take it a step further and embrace that awkward. Remember, you are on a mission to understand who you are and what your greatest strengths are and what your impact in your world is. So when you feel that resistance of like, mm, I don't want to ask this person, whatever, tell that resistance where to go, kick it to the curb, be like, shut up, Gertrude. Okay. I name mine all the time. Um, tell it where to go because you do have a purpose in this exercise and I've given you an email template. So it's easy peasy. Um, you can use it in uh, case you aren't sure how to ask for this information yourself. Um, it's copy and paste. So um, should be super simple, or you can put it in your own words, whatever feels most comfortable to you. Now, what I have found since doing this exercise over the years, and I'm talking like over eight years now, um, whether I'm doing it in executive coaching at the C-suite level, um, high potential level, whether I'm doing leadership training with a whole entire group, 
or small business coaching, um, whatever brand type experience I'm doing is all of my clients are delightfully surprised um, and really uplifted by the experience. It's, it's kind of a fun experience. You, you're not going to solicit negative feedback. Okay. So that might help. Um, and while I normally beat my drum to not worry about what other think, people think about you, um, in this particular exercise, it's critical. It's, it's drawing from many different areas of your life. Um, so again, you'll start to see patterns emerge that are worth considering in how you show up in your world. Okay. So we just keep coming back to that. What do I see about myself in this world? How do other people see me showing up in this world? Um, and, and those are the first two components. So I should add that um, one of the reasons you're asking 10 people is that you might only get like five to seven timely responses. And, and that's typical. Like people are busy. Don't hold it against anybody. Do not get butt hurt over this. Like the people who are supposed to give you the data will. Okay. So just embrace that reality. Um, you need some depth to this exercise for it to be meaningful and establishing themes. So um, certainly in the subject line, when you send it out, put something like time sensitive and then whatever subject line you want. And I do have recommendations, um, so that they know to prioritize it and answer it prop promptly. Okay. We got to give those cues, which is a free little communication lesson from your favorite executive coach. Um, and it's going to take a couple days to get some of your responses back. So it's cool. Part three of this, um, whole challenge is just chillaxing, waiting for that to happen. And so as you collect all that data, then, um, then you can move forward to step three. So I do want you to take a pause at that number two mark and enjoy all the wonderful things you're going to learn about yourself and about what people think about you. It's, it's really cool. So I want you to embrace it and I want you to take a second to celebrate you. Okay. Part three. The last part of this exercise. So we do a self-assessment, we do a peer assessment, and then the third piece of this challenge is where it all comes together, okay? Um, in this final step, you will actually evaluate the feedback that you receive from your peers. And in this step, we're going to see if there are any gaps um, that need to be addressed, um, any gaps that need to be closed between who you know you are, like how I see myself, this is who I've lived with my entire life, um, and then how you're perceived or how you show up in the world. And, and oftentimes there is a gap. I still find gaps in my own personal brand and I breathe this and teach this for a living. So um, if there are, and there probably will be, and that's cool, that's fine, right? Um, you're going to craft a plan to close those gaps and then to establish a strong personal brand that is authentic to you. Not what other people want from you, but what is actually authentic to you using all these different data sources. So um, have you ever known a really shy person um, and people at first think that they're stuck up because they don't talk? Or maybe somebody who's like a super cheerful giver who's just way out there, but they get shooed away all the time because people think they talk too much. They have these beautiful things inside of them, but there's, there's a, a heart and the intention of the individual um, and then it's not honored uh, in their impact of the, of the world and it's diminished because people aren't getting them. And so I don't want that to happen with you. Even if you're fairly sophisticated, there's more work to be done. So by aligning who you inherently are with how people then receive you, you, my friend, will then harness a fantastic superpower. This is exactly what got me out of the teen mom trenches. And if you don't know that story, read my book. Okay. Um, but we're not going to end there. Okay. No, you've spent all this time. It really won't be a ton of time. Don't get freaked out, but you got the time if you're quarantined right now. Um, you're digging within and outside of yourself for clues about your personal brand. Um, and in this third piece of my challenge, we will put those puzzle pieces together. Okay. This is where you walk away with something tangible and I'm completely attached to outcomes. So thus you have this beautiful package at the end using all of these data points that you've created um, throughout this challenge in each of these steps, you will complete your challenge by writing your personal brand statement. Okay. So there's like brand promises that, that like, you know, McDonald's or Nike's has, and then you're going to have your own personal brand statement. Um, and I love what Michael Hyatt says, thoughts disentangle themselves by passing over the lips and through pencil tips. 
And so that's why I want you to like literally write this out because there is a connection between having it up here and writing it out. And then you could type it if you want to. Um, maybe you don't use a pencil. Maybe you type your statement. Maybe you paint it on a canvas. I don't care what you do. Um, I'm certainly not a rule follower, um, but I do think there's some power in that. So if you're a journaling type person, rock that out. Um, and then you can reflect upon um, when making decisions about your business, when you're making decisions about your career, when you're making decisions about relationships and where you commit your time, this statement can empower you to focus your efforts on investing in those peoples and opportunities, those peoples, those people and opportunities that will best suit you and that will best set you up for success for what you really want and what you're really wired to do. Um, because when you know who you inherently are, you can focus your power in fulfilling your calling or even just operating your strengths through even the most mundane activities. Like I know who I am and I will not dribble in any space that is not meant for me because then that keeps me from where my power shines brightest. So when you're finished crafting your statement, I do hope you'll either email us at info at amberhurdle.com or put it in the comments. I would love to read it. Um, this is a little bit of work. So I'm going to thank you in advance for the investment you've made in yourself. You're worth it. Um, you do deserve this time investment in yourself. So I appreciate you trusting me to take you on the journey. I love that you're watching these videos. Um, it means the world to me that I get to do what I love to do for you and service to you. Um, so now every time I say things like just do you, you'll know exactly what I mean. This is what I'm all about. I sell branding, I deliver confidence, and I do believe that if you get your personal brand statement on par, that you'll have an extraordinary amount of confidence because you know what you're all about. So be sure you grab your challenge. Uh, the link is in the description. Um, I'll get you everything you need for this. And it's not laborious. It just does take a little bit of energy and you've got you got it. So you can do this, but I'll get it in your inbox. Um, and then, um, of course, as always help assist out like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, those things help other people find it so I can help them as well. And, um, if you plan to do the challenge, then I want you to just type yes in the comments so I can kind of keep up with who's doing what, um, and then I can cheer you on as you go forward with this challenge too. And um, other than that, I will see you next week.